it's not that easy to hold this thing that steady. I'm going to take this out for a little ride today and talk to you about one of the videos I did recently on how fast this baby can go in first gear. And if you've seen that video at the end you will notice that I made a suggestion that maybe the speedometer wasn't accurate. So I am going to go out and see how far off my speedometer is. As you will notice I have my phone on and it's open with a speedometer app. So I'll be able to compare the miles per hour on my speedometer with the miles per hour on the app. So the first thing I'm going to do right now is get out on the interstate and get up to 69 miles an hour and see what the app shows that I'm doing at that particular speed to make it relevant to the video that was uploaded recently. So I have experimented with this app already in my car and I can tell you that it does have a little bit of latency so I'm going to have to do my best to try and hold the speed steady. In fact I've tried several apps and I didn't really notice a difference. The only reason why I chose this app over any of the others is it simply has a larger screen, easier to read the numbers. But I will say, speaking of my vehicle, when I tested it out in my vehicle, I did notice that my car uh, speedometer was reading two miles per hour high as well. This doesn't look good. So anyway, as I was saying, my car speedometer was reading about two miles per hour high. And that didn't matter at what speed I was going. With the only exception being at less than 20 miles per hour, it seemed to be dead on. But anything over seven or anything over 20 miles per hour, anything over 20 miles per hour, it seemed to be a two miles per hour difference, regardless of the speed. All right, so here we go. I'm out on the interstate. I'm going to try and hold it at 69, and right now, at 69, it appears that it's off by about four or five miles per hour. Again, it's not that easy to hold this thing that steady. A lot of wind out here today. Right there, 69 on the speedometer, showing 65 on the app. So that would mean on that little experiment I did recently in first gear that I was really only going about 65 or 64 miles per hour. But what I don't know is exactly how much my speedometer is off at different speeds. So I will try and find that out a little bit today on this ride. going to have to get off the interstate up here at the next exit. Otherwise my next step, my next exit won't happen for about 10 more miles. So I'm going to ride around here for a little bit and try and maintain different speeds and you can compare the speed on my speedometer with the speed on my app and maybe draw your own conclusions. I have seen where other people try to uh, determine a percentage and apply that across the board. For example, one method is to go 50 miles, 50 miles per hour and then look at the app and then whatever that is. So if it's off by four miles per hour, if you just do the simple division, that comes out to 8%. And they suggest that that 8% would be applicable across the whole spectrum of your speedometer. But I don't think that is the case, particularly with my experiment in my car. 
So again, in my car, if my car speedometer showed 70, my app showed 68. If I was doing 40 in my car, my app showed 38. So that seems to be rather constant that it's just simply off by two miles per hour rather than by any particular percentage. Now speedometers on motorcycles are notoriously off. And there was a time when motorcycle magazines used to publish uh, those errors in there. And it's been a long time since I've seen that. I can't even remember how long it's been. Uh, but I do happen to have an excerpt of the article on one of my previous motorcycles. And this article was from way back in 1983. And in that, on that motorcycle, the V65 Magna, at 30 miles an hour on the Magna, it showed the speed at 29 miles per hour. And at 60 miles per hour, it showed it at 56. But that does not come out to the, the same amount of percentage. At 30 miles per hour, it was off by 3%, and at 60 miles per hour, it was off by 7%. So again, that doesn't that seems to be at odds with some of these others out there that try and calculate a percentage and apply it across the board. So I don't think that was the case. So here I'm going 55. I'm going to try and hold it steady there. Easier said than done. So at 55, looks like I'm doing about 51 or 52 on the app. So it's off by about three miles per hour. So I'm just going to ride along at different speeds. I'll drop down to 50. Try and hold that. There it's showing about 46. Again, there is a little bit of latency with the app. I noticed that in my car. So we have to give it a couple of seconds to try and catch up. So here the speed limit is 60. I'll try and hold it at that speed again. And there it's about 56, it looks like on the app. But either way, I think you get the idea. Now again, what I don't know is, um, and I would have to do some calculations on this, is whether or not it's a percentage or if it's just simply off by four, no matter what. So, but I will just cruise along here at different speeds, try and maintain a constant speed to let you guys look and compare the two. And I'll leave it up to you mathematical geniuses to come up with a, a type of formula. And what you come up with is whether it's just a flat number across the board, or if you happen to see that it's uh, it does come out to uh, a consistent percentage across the spectrum but I would be curious uh, to what your experience has been so if you would leave some comments on what you have found as far as uh, your bike or even bikes that you've owned in the past if some were worse than others if some appeared to be more accurate more in line with your car whether or not it was a constant number, whether or not it was a percentage, I'd be curious to see what your experience has been and how you determined the accuracy or inaccuracy. Uh, what was your method? I know it's convenient now because we have the apps. I am going to stop talking now and just let the, uh, let the numbers play out. And like I said, I'll let you do any calculations as you compare the numbers indicated.
see you next time. <laughs>